Okay, this is the situation where they give you one leg in the hypotenuse, and you need to go find the missing leg. So for this triangle right here, um, we know that the 9.2 is going to be the hypotenuse, and so that would be the C value. Um, the 6, well, that could be the A because it's a leg, or it could be the B. And so what we're going to do is we're going to solve it both ways, where I take this 6 and I plug it in for the B, or I take this 6 and I plug it in for the A, okay? Because I, I don't need you getting scared going, gee, which one should I plug it in as? If it's a leg, we really don't care if it's A or B. So um, let's go through and, and do it the first way right here. Let's just go ahead and plug the 6 in for this B. And you can see I made this B right here 6. And the C, we already talked about, that's a hypotenuse, and that's 9.2. Well, 6 squared is 36. And 9.2 squared is 84.64. The new twist, and the only new twist to this, other than the fact that we're plugging in a C value, is right here. We need to get this A squared all by itself. And you'll notice that it's adding 36 to it. And a lot of you are probably already guessing, well, gee, couldn't I just subtract 36? Yep, you sure can. And so if you subtract the 36 on the left side, and then subtract 36 on the right side, it cancels out this 36 on the left side where this a squared falls down, and now it's all by itself. And 84.64 minus 36 is 48.64. And then we do the exact same thing that we did before when we had c squared equaling a number. To get this second power off, we just simply flipped to the other side. We wrote a square root sign over this side and take that second power off, okay? Now, once you pull out your calculator, you're gonna get a really long number, 6.974, and the decimals just keep going. Then it just comes down to how do they want you to round it, usually. And let's just say round to the nearest tenth, and that would really just round it to 7.0. So now that we've we've solved it, Let's come through and, and find this missing leg again. Again, this leg is 7. And also remember that it's less than your hypotenuse. The leg has to be less than your hypotenuse, so that's good. But let's go solve it with, instead of um, the 6 being plugged in for the B, let's take the 6 right here and plug it in for the A. And so you'd come through and you go, well, what's 6 squared? And you'd say it's 36. And what's 9.2 squared? It's, it's 84.64. And then what you can do is say, how can I get this B all by itself? Well, there's 36 is being added to it, so let's just subtract 36 from both sides. And we get that same effect of the B squared is, is isolated because the 36 canceled here. And then 84 minus 64, I'm sorry, 84.64 minus 36, um, gets us the 48.64, which is what we got over here. We had the letter being squared equaling 48.64, and we get the same scenario here. And then we can just say, hey, we've got to get this B not being squared, so we'll just put a square root sign on the other side of the equal sign to make it go away. And you pull out your calculator and figure out it's 6.974 and round. But basically, you'll see that it really doesn't matter whether the one leg you're, you're given goes in for the B or the A. That doesn't matter. What matters is, is that you get the, the leg that's missing all by itself. And how do you get rid of it? You're going to have to subtract on both sides. And uh, then it's pretty much what we've been doing the last day or two. Now, if you've struggled and you, you take a look at your, your grade and you're sitting in the C range or lower, in other words, if you're 79, 78, 75% or lower, I'd really like you to try to get to the Google Meet today so that way I can kind of shine you up and see what's what's causing some issues for you. And that way it'll take a little bit of anxiety away. Um, if you feel like you're doing a great job and you got a good 100% yesterday, hey, have at it. But uh, do the best that you can, get help, and um, I'm here if you need me.